there will be times when you think you're getting into the best grantee relationship and success is around the corner. You make a grant, you bring others to the table, and there's a huge question mark that you will not know the answer to. That's called risk. What's amazing is that we are in a sector where we have the resources and ultimately our risks are really minimal. I mean, I, when you try to think about it, what are our risks? A tarnished reputation? That probably would be the worst that could happen. But I think if you've demonstrated how you made the decisions that you've made and are completely transparent and thoughtful in that approach, including collaborating with others, it's hard to see really what the downside risk is. I never expect anything to be perfect. And uh, it's like science. Uh, scientists tell me that when they do an experiment and it fails, that it actually has succeeded because now they can cross out one possibility. So it's always a learning experience. And actually, I feel I learn more from my failures than from my successes. I think uh, we, instead of failure and success, we like to think about it as experimentation, that we are in a process together and that um, our partners have taught us over time that to be a great Global Northern partner means to accompany their process of organizational change. Um, and that it's not a linear process, right? It's not a, a linear trajectory for any organization or social movement. In fact, it's always iterative. Um, and I think this applies even to philanthropy. All of our, our learnings have to be iterative. We're constantly experimenting. We are not shying away from having skin knees. You know, we are, we're, we're willing to be bruised sometimes so that we can learn. On the question of encouraging them to try new things and take risks, we would support it in the sense if they came to us and, say, and said, we have a new idea, we're not sure how it's gonna work. There have been times where we have been the first funder in. Again, small grant, but it sends a message loud and clear, not only to the grantee, but to the community, the general public, but the community of funders especially, that, oh, if that foundation is, is, is willing to put dollars behind this new concept or new idea or small organization, it's worth listening to it's worth trying. And we have, we have luckily seen some great successes from that kind of investment. It's exciting to hear philanthropy um, talk about embracing innovation um, and entrepreneurship in the work and risk taking. And I think that the further philanthropy can go and actually accepting some big risks that will include some big losses, the more likely we'll have some big breakthroughs. And I think there's a trend in that direction, but it's not fast enough. We recognize that, that, that grantee progress is nonlinear and that um, organizational development is difficult and uh, therefore we don't expect things to, be, uh, things to be perfect. And so by not expecting things to be perfect, we, um, you know, we, we take any judgment off the table. I remember um, grantees coming, a, a couple of them saying, you know, we have a real problem of leadership. Um, some uh, foundations don't fund if uh, there is no, if, if they're look if there's in transition um, for an executive director. We stay the course. People, we were not going to not fund them because they told us something bad was happening. Mm -hmm. And that has really, um, I think, increased our, I mean, made our relationships with our grantees so so good. I'm not sure that, um, that success versus failure is the right way to look at the work of nonprofits in a lot of cases. Uh, it's just too black and white. It's too, uh, too objective. Uh, we're in a mode of learning. We're trying to create knowledge. And some of that knowledge is going to have uh, come from positive experiences. And some of it is going to help us do things differently, do things better. Uh, so it's not so much a, a failure that you might shy away from sharing as a discovery uh, as to how to do something different or how uh, maybe the challenge is not what you thought it was. So you mentioned the fear that nonprofit leaders might have about sharing openly. That ultimately that tone is set by the funder. You know, if the funder is accessible and really 
allows that openness and that kind of dialogue to come about that where a nonprofit leader or an organization are being vulnerable and it's okay. You know, it really ultimately will, the tone is set by the leader. Okay, let's try this. Let's, let's try new, new ways of, of teaching children. Let's not be stagnant in our thought process. And a lot of times as nonprofits, we feel that way where we feel that we can't be too creative or go off the mark because someone might not understand that. And maybe the outcomes won't be perfect, like exactly what the grant says it's gonna do. And I feel like I could go to them and say, okay, this really worked, but we gotta tweak it, you know, for the next time. And they're not gonna say, well, we're not gonna give you money next year. You know, forget it, you failed. They don't look at it that way. We love hearing the bad with the good because we know not everything is perfect and not everything lines up exactly with what was originally proposed. Um, we always thank our grantees for sharing with us what might be difficult to share. It's human nature not to want to point out your own shortcomings, but we hope that we create that environment that allows our grantees to feel comfortable doing just that. One of the big lessons for me is that the programs that we're funding and ourselves, nobody's perfect. And sometimes a, a program will be wildly successful and other times it will fall flat. Um, but that both of those experiences inform us so we can do better next time. And we really wanna impart that to our grantees. Go ahead and make mistakes. And let's learn about it together. I think we have relationships with our grantees that are very family-like, you know, we get frustrated with one another and we we say you know you should know better than that and it's yeah yeah I should know better than that and and um, but but we're in the end we know why we're there and and they believe that we have their best interest at heart and that um, it, it, there really isn't anything in it for us you know to uh, and, I, and I hope they watch how we conduct our business and they decide that and and I think um, I think they're fairly free with us. I, I don't know whether it fits the common rubrics today of the way my relationship with my grantees should be evaluated with it, but I, I'm pretty comfortable with it. We all make mistakes. And uh, as much as we you know, try hard in this work, especially when we're dealing with uh, seemingly intractable problems, problems that have been around for a really long time, that, require lots of money and lots of effort. These solutions, if they were easy to be solved, they would have already been solved. And so, um, therefore, it's a learning process for both the grantees as well as the funders, meaning it's only natural for people to be making mistakes. One thing I wish I'd known early on is um, the power of intuition, that um, if you have a gut feeling about an organization, to go with that and explore it.